is a story about my son, Michael. One time he was hanging out, the girls were hanging out, and all of a sudden I hear from the kitchen, Mom, Michael spit his gum out and it's on top of the trash can and he won't take it out. And they were screaming for a minute and so I walked in and I looked at the situation and I know my son, he, when he decides not to do something, he's not gonna do it. And I learned really early on not to push him, not to get into a headstrong battle with him, to really try to win his cooperation. So when I walked in and saw that the two girls were taunting him and trying to make him get his gum off the uh, top of the trash can, there was no way he was going to do it. He was going to dig his heels in. So I looked at the girls and I said, peanut gallery, take care of yourselves. This doesn't have anything to do with you. And kind of shoot him out of there. And I was walking out, as I was walking out, I said, I said, Michael will do the right thing. And I just left. I didn't stay. I didn't address it directly with him. Um, I just walked out of the room. He was probably, gosh, he was probably only about seven at the time, maybe even six. And I kept peeking down in there, and there's this big, you know, glop of gum right on top of the lid of the trash can. And I was getting a little nervous, and but I was, I was staying away. I just, you know, I didn't want to, again, didn't want to start a power struggle with him. And probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes later, when everybody had kind of gone away and left him alone, I heard him quietly go in there, pluck the gum off the top of the trash can, and stick it into the trash. And I just kind of smiled and walked off. And that taught me more than anything when he was little like that, that he needed to do the right thing in his own time. And I remembered that moment over and over when I was raising him, when he was nine and when he was 11, and especially when he was a teenager. If I tried to push him like, mow the lawn right now, forget it, he'd dig his heels in. But I, if I said something like, hey Michael, you need to get the lawn mowed and you know, when do you think you can have that done by? And try to get a commitment, you know, of a day or two days and just give him plenty of time so that he could do it when he felt like it. I got so much more cooperation with him. He's just one of those kids who does not want to be pushed right now in the moment on your terms. And most of the time with most things, it doesn't have to happen right now. So, um, uh, there are some situations where it does have to happen right now, and I'll tell you about those in future videos, uh, especially with him, because that was it definitely was an issue if we had to go right now. So I'll leave that for another video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, please click on subscribe below. I'll be posting hopefully one a day. I'd like I'd love to um, start getting one of these up a day on different topics and different success stories. So click on subscribe. Go to my website, positiveparenting.com, and um, opt in to get the tip sheet, 10 things to do instead of spanking. And if you fill out a survey, I also send out information and MP3 files on different topics. So have a great day. Happy parenting.